Hallo. Ich bin Roman und willkommen zu meinem allerersten Stream. Wir spielen heute nämlich, also ich spiele heute, ein Spiel, was ein bisschen an Popularität vor ein paar Monaten erreicht hat. Dieses Spiel nennt sich Doki Doki Literal Cup. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Und je um jeden von uns glücklich, du hast uns durch unsere harten Zeiten getröstet. Und du hast uns alle geholfen, miteinander auszukommen, damit alle glücklich sind und sich umeinander kümmern. <lacht> es ist irgendwie traurig, weißt du? Nach allem, was du uns getan hast, kann ich nicht viel für dich tun. Ja, verabschieden wir uns. Ich werde dich vermissen, Junge. Komm mal vorbei, okay? Wir sind immer für dich da. Übrigens, Roman, hast du dich schon entschieden, welchen Club du beitreten willst? Einem Club? Ich habe dir doch schon gesagt, dass ich kein Interesse an irgendwelchen Clubs habe. Außerdem habe ich mich auch gar nicht nach einem umgeschaut. Was? Das stimmt doch gar nicht. Du hattest mir gesagt, dass du dieses Jahr einen Club beitreten willst. Das habe ich. Möglicherweise habe ich das während eines unseren vielen Unterhaltungen gesagt, bei denen ich nur teilnahmslos dem zustimmte, worüber auch immer sie gerade wieder redet. Ernsthaft, was für ein Ahul. Sayori sorgt sich gern um mich, dabei bin ich völlig zufrieden, gerade so mit einer Durchschnittsnote zu bestehen, um mich in meiner Freizeit mit Spielen und Animes zu beschäftigen. Ja. Yeah. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Collapse. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. S Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club, the literature club. It's so fun. There are a few girls and cupcakes and drama. I mean, what? Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. No comment right now. <laughs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a Monica, I mean this cupcake. Ahem. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. 
everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Lichu Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sir already says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Roman, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls and nightmares. But those go and come later, okay? Just saying. That's right, you usually like to write down about good things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud. I give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. They already slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I am not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Let's give over size. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Have confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. No confidence, it seems. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ron. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayer told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Wait, I need to start something. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki back into the seat. Don't worry guys, Ron always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking, like cooking, cleaning my room, how dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting and you almost set your own house on fire, once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a, I might be a little jealous. How oh, come? You and Roman can become good friends too. I want to first jump off a cliff before becoming good friends with Ed. You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, n not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori. It's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You are clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh -huh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. That's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you mean you. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Ow. Eh. That's super mean. 
Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Well, actually, it doesn't look better. <laughs> this is so funny. What well, is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does the, these kinds of things. Uh, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I swung to fully close the button near her. Just. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned, buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, they look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sarah's blazer buttoned up like that? Well, it is. But it's all stuffy. Ah, uh, it's not worth it at all. Siri so has to unbutton the blazer once more. Yeah, because we don't have that sprite. I mean, what? Okay, Aaron. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Rowan, how about you? Yeah, I said the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. And that. I did this joke, maybe. Oh. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And the day after. And the day after that. And the day after that. And that. And the day after that. 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 No, I don't want to go through this. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. I bring a word back. Because, three years ago, I decided that every time I see the word determination, I replace it with a specific phrase. So with other words, this transform itself into I nod to myself with newfound Undertale joke. Hmm. Hmm. So Yori. Silly smile. Stop! 